Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Red Hot Liqueur. That's right, there's an old saying that candy's nicer, but liquor's quicker. To which I say, why choose? Let's do both and hedge our bets. So I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful cinnamon flavored liqueur using these Red Hots. Those little cinnamon candies from your childhood and quite possibly adulthood. And by the way, all you people that are bugging me for low fat recipes, check it out. This is fat free, all right? So you're welcome. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about a cup of these candies. Whoops, I had one too many. We're gonna take a cup of this candy and we're gonna throw it into a Ziploc bag because we're gonna have to powder this in the food processor. And if you don't give them the old smash a smash a first, they will just spin around and won't blend in the machine. And you can smash these with anything, a meat pounder, a rolling pin. I just used a small pot that was within reach. So you're gonna give those a little smash and you don't need to pound these down fine. You're just breaking them up roughly to prepare them for the next step. And be careful, they're so sharp they can break the bag. So when you lift this up, make sure they don't spill all over. All right, we're gonna transfer those into a food processor and you're gonna pulse on and off until you basically have a powder. And of course, there's always gonna be a few stubborn chunks, nothing worse than stubborn chunks. But don't worry about that. We're gonna strain this and most of that's gonna dissolve anyway. So once your Red Hots are pulverized, you're gonna go ahead and dump that into a bowl and we're gonna pour over a couple cups of vodka. And of course, you don't need to use the most expensive stuff in the world here, all right? Some recipes you wanna to use top shelf. This is definitely a bottom shelf type of recipe. So a couple cups of cheap vodka and then we're gonna give it a stir and all we need to do is wait for this to dissolve. If you want, you can just dump all this into a big mason jar and shake it but I didn't have a big mason jar, so I'm just gonna use a bowl. All right, it really doesn't matter as long as it dissolves. And I actually wrapped mine up and left it on the countertop for a few hours while I went out and did some errands. And when I came back, it was pretty much dissolved. So I'm gonna take off the plastic. I'm gonna give it one last mix. And like I said, you're always gonna have a few little stubborn pieces there. Don't worry, because the next step is the straining. So we're gonna put this through a fine mesh strainer. Any of those pieces that didn't dissolve are gonna get caught. And what you're left with is pure red hot liqueur. Of course, I wanna taste and adjust for seasoning. Actually, I'm kidding, I'm just gonna taste it. And you really are gonna be shocked how incredibly intensely flavored this is. It really does taste like liquefied Red Hots. Now at this point, you can enjoy as is, but of course, if you're gonna give this to your Valentine, you're gonna to wanna to transfer it into some kind of attractive bottle. So I'm using a funnel to make it nice and neat. I'm using one of these old style bottles that has that latch type stopper. Kind of makes it look like one of those magical elixirs you see in the movies, which really, it kinda of is. And then the final touch, of course, you're gonna to wanna to do some kind of customized label. I decided to call mine Love Potion Number no. Nine after the famous song by The Searchers. You know the one. I didn't know if it was day or night. I started kissing everything in sight. What's that, don't quit my day job? Don't worry, I don't have a day job. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to be careful with this. This is 80 proof alcohol and the sweetness from the Red Hots and that cinnamon flavor really mellows that burn from the alcohol. So this does not even taste like alcohol which is why I always like to add a warning label. So there's my official disclaimer. So if you do try this, I want you to enjoy it in moderation. In fact, speaking of which, I'm gonna moderate some of this into my mouth right now. And that is really delicious, very spicy, just a really, really fun little cordial, okay? Oh, and by the way, special thanks to my friend Sean from hedonia.com who I stole this recipe from. It really is a brilliant idea. And like I said, would make a beautiful, beautiful Valentine's Day gift. So I hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.